He's gonna make his mark on her. Bam! <laughs> How are y'all today? Um, I know you were thinking, where is Tanny? I was out cleaning my screen porch. It's like the polarific out there, and it's like this veil of humidity in South Carolina. That's what happened to my hair. That's why I have a ponytail. But now I'm hungry, so I thought I might come to y'all with um, a little chit chat. I know you're shocked. And I thought we'd have a little dip of what we had left over. So I've already got this started. So I've got about a half of the zucchini chopped up because I had that last night left over from my salad. I have about um, two of these chunks of cauliflower. I have my little pepper, which I got this whole bag for less than a dollar. Two reds and an orange. I have a third of a white onion. And then I'm going to have half of an avocado. Okay. Then, let's see what else we want to have. Oh, and I have um, about a third to a half of a garlic clove in there. And let's see. Let's have some lemon juice. Let's have two tablespoons. Let's have, um, let's do something different, shall we? Oh, let's do some chili powder. Let's do one tablespoon. Somebody said yesterday, they were like, your cupboards are like magic. You, you pull out all this stuff out of there. And, um, it's funny because anybody else would say, dang, where's the food? Because... I have stuff like these, little mung beans. I'm going to sprout those. I have these, which are dehydrated mushrooms, which, oh, let's use some of those, shall we? Chia seeds. I have some coconut sugar, just a few, um, your basics, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to talk to you as soon as we make this. Let's see how this tastes, shall we? Going down, down, down. these at the Asian store for really, really cheap because I know somebody's going to say, oh, you can get those on sale and you can make them cheap. These are pretty cheap, like, I don't know, $1.29, and I did have a whole jar of these. So. This is going to be interesting for the texture. I had not thought of that before. I just saw it. Bam. This is good. Whatever I just said I put in this. Mmm. This could be one of my favorite dips. Whatever that was, that's a winner. You know, um, somebody said, uh, you know, Tanya, you, you can make an ebook and you can make recipes and you can have your recipes on there. I'm thinking, well, God, I have to go back and watch all my videos and write down that stuff because I have no idea what I put in the stuff. I just have been eating this way so long that that's just what I eat, you know. Um, let's talk about this. Um, let's talk about mind, body, and spirit coming together. I've been thinking about this, and this is exactly why um, things change when you first give up meat, and then you give up dairy, and then you you know, you transform yourself into a new thing on your health level, but then mentally and spiritually, it's a whole awakening too. It's all mind, body, spirit coming together. Um, this is why you're going to need to start moving your body more. You know, you're going to need to start listening to your intuition more. Um, it's like, if I don't include my body in it, if I don't move my body enough, I start to be like, and not so many things in my head, 
so many things running through my head, I can't go to bed. You know, it is so, such an awakening experience that I must have more oxygen to the brain all the time. I must have that outlet of exercise, that rebounder, if it wasn't for that. I'm not a big fan of like, I love the outdoors, but I can't stand humidity. I don't like to feel sticky. Mosquitoes love me, and I really am not a big fan of putting on bug spray and stuff, and it goes right to my skin, and then that's toxic poison, and it can actually make me sick, like I have ingested poison. So, um, sometimes, you know, it's just not, or maybe it's just dumping down rain, and I don't have time to to take another shower and all that. So the rebounder is a handy thing for me because it is always available. It is always a friend to me. Um, because I have to have that outlet. And, and furthermore, I want nice thighs. You know what I'm saying? Um, here's another thing. I was thinking this morning in the shower. I thought, well, you know, you don't fit in. What is this society norm that we are thinking we are supposed to fit in? Where, like, media crack addict Fruit Loops are running this world. I mean, what is it we're trying to blend into? Let's be the different sheep and not follow the flock. Um, you know, it's like, are you well adjusted to the, um, to society that is so far from the norm? Because if you are, there could be a problem. There could be a problem if you are able to understand and resonate with everything going on in this world and it feels fine to you and looks fine to you and it's working for you then you probably are not on the right path if if you are well adjusted to the society's norm you know um but you know we're taught to follow the leader fr from an early age just like um I can remember being in, in elementary school and, you know, they would choose a line leader. And I always wanted to be the line leader because I love to be in charge. And But, you know, the problem was everybody wanted to take a turn. And people really got ticked if you tried to just be the line leader and it wasn't your turn. You didn't have the line leader ticket or the card or whatever. Your name wasn't on the chart that day. But now in my life, I get to be the line leader every dang day. The line leader of my life, taking myself wherever the heck I want to go, you know? Um, every day it's my turn is the point. That is very exciting. So, um, and some cute girl, some young fruit bat was saying on her YouTube, she's Karen, and I have to, I put like, um, I liked her, so it's going to show up on my channel. But uh, she was saying how I just encouraged her, and I thought she was so cute, and, and uh, I love young people. You know, I love young people with young ideas and the willingness to be the line leader of their life. There are very few people in my age bracket and above that are not stuck in that mentality of what you should be, what you should do, you know? Um... Yeah, we're the line leader of our own life. It's very exciting. Make this dip, and I'm going to have, um, let's see, what will I have on this? I have some really, really good cucumbers I could slice up, and I could even have some more of my dehydrated zucchini chips, which were light little Doritos, very tasty. And um, and I'm just going to, to have that. I'm going to finish cleaning up. See, I could be, like, perplexed and just, like, stunned into the fact of how the heck I'm going to pay my bills. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to focus on a higher vibration so that I bring that back to myself. Um, and I'm going to trust in that process because it's worked thus far for me. It's worked. When I started applying that to my life, it has worked. And other people might say, well, you know, this happened to you and that happened to you. Okay, well, I used that to jump up on a, a new and higher vibration instead of being bogged down. So, my dogs can't even play outside. It's so yucky. So, check out this song. Leg shaking. <laughs> Let's dance. I want to go. Girl, I promise.
promise through this whole night I'll be kissing you. Until your body comes, until we see the sun. So you went to shotgun once I touch you with my taser tongue. And I just wanna give you a little bit of 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 a little b